Common medical condition affecting men. It is characterized by the consistent inability to achieve or maintain an erection sufficient for satisfactory sexual performance. This condition can be a source of significant stress and can impact a man's self-esteem and relationships. It's the inability to achieve or maintain an erection firm enough for sexual intercourse. This can be a temporary or ongoing issue and it can affect men of all ages, though it becomes increasingly common as men get older. This can be a temporary or ongoing issue. Temporary ED might be caused by stress, fatigue, or excessive alcohol consumption, while ongoing ED could be a sign of more serious health issues. ED is nothing to be ashamed of. It's a medical condition that many men experience, and it's important to remember that it's not a reflection of your masculinity or worth. It's important to talk about it. Open communication with your partner and healthcare provider can help you find the right treatment and support. Open communication helps us find solutions and support. Discussing ED openly can reduce the stigma and help men feel less isolated. Many men experience ED at some point in their lives. It's a common issue and you're not alone in facing it. It's not always a cause for concern. Occasional ED is normal and can be influenced by various factors like stress or fatigue. However, if it happens frequently, it's crucial to seek medical advice. Persistent ED can be a sign of underlying health issues that need to be addressed. ED can be a symptom of underlying health problems. Conditions like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and hormonal imbalances can all contribute to erectile dysfunction. These might include heart disease or diabetes. Addressing these health issues can improve your overall well-being and reduce the occurrence of ED. ED can have a significant impact on a man's life. It can lead to feelings of inadequacy, anxiety, and depression, affecting both personal and professional relationships. It can affect his self-esteem, relationships, and overall well-being. Seeking help and addressing the issue can lead to a more fulfilling and confident life. That's why it's vital to address it openly and seek help when needed. There are various treatment options available from lifestyle changes to medication and therapy. Remember, you're not alone and effective treatments are available. With the right support and treatment, you can manage ED and lead a healthy, satisfying life. Talking about ED can be difficult. Men might feel embarrassed or ashamed. However, open communication is crucial for several reasons. First, it helps men realize they're not alone. Many others share the same experience. Second, open dialogue encourages seeking professional help. Many effective treatments exist. Talking to a doctor is the first step. Third, communication strengthens relationships. Talking with your partner fosters understanding and support. It's important to remember that ED is often treatable. Ignoring the issue can worsen it. It can also strain relationships. Open communication is essential for overcoming the challenges of ED. ED isn't always just about what's happening below the belt. Many physical conditions can contribute. These conditions often affect blood flow or nerve function. Heart disease, for example, can damage blood vessels. This includes those supplying the penis. Diabetes can also lead to nerve damage and blood vessel problems. Other physical causes include obesity, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. These conditions often go hand in hand. They can all impact vascular health and contribute to ED. Certain medications can also cause ED as a side effect. These include some antidepressants and blood pressure medications. It's crucial to consult your doctor if you suspect your medication might be a contributing factor. While we often focus on the physical aspects of ED, psychological factors play a significant role. Stress, anxiety, and depression can all impact sexual function. The mind and body are interconnected. Emotional well-being is crucial for physical health, including sexual health. Relationship problems can also contribute to ED. Difficulties with communication, intimacy, or trust can manifest physically. Performance anxiety is another common psychological factor. The pressure to perform sexually can create stress and actually hinder performance. Addressing these psychological factors is essential for treating ED effectively. Therapy, counseling, and stress reduction techniques can be beneficial. Remember, seeking help for mental health is just as crucial as addressing physical health concerns. Section 5. Seeking Help, Diagnosis, and Treatment Options If you're experiencing erectile dysfunction, the first step is to talk to your doctor. It's important to have an open and honest conversation about your symptoms and concerns. They will ask about your medical history and any medications you're taking. This helps them understand any underlying factors that might be contributing to the issue. 
They'll also perform a physical exam to rule out underlying conditions. This exam can provide valuable insights into your overall health and identify any physical causes of erectile dysfunction. Your doctor may order additional tests to further assess your condition. These tests can help pinpoint the exact cause and guide the treatment plan. These might include blood tests to check hormone levels, as hormonal imbalances can often play a role in erectile dysfunction, or a urine test to rule out infection. Infections can sometimes cause or exacerbate erectile issues, so it's crucial to identify and treat them. In some cases your doctor may recommend a referral to a specialist, such as a urologist or a sex therapist. These specialists have advanced training and can offer more targeted treatments. The good news is that erectile dysfunction is often treatable. With the right approach, many men can regain normal function and improve their quality of life. Several effective options are available ranging from lifestyle changes such as exercise and diet modifications to medication, which can help improve blood flow to the penis, to therapy, which can address psychological factors. Your doctor will work with you to determine the best course of treatment based on your individual needs and circumstances. It's a collaborative process aimed at finding the most effective solution for you. Section 6. Medical Interventions – A Range of Solutions In this section we will explore the various medical interventions available for treating erectile dysfunction, commonly known as ED. These treatments range from oral medications to more invasive procedures each with its own set of benefits and considerations. One common treatment for ED is medication. These medications are often the first line of treatment and can be very effective for many men. Several oral medications known as PDE5 inhibitors are available. These include well-known names that you might have heard of. These medications work by increasing blood flow to the penis, making it easier to achieve and maintain an erection. They are usually taken before sexual activity and can help improve the quality of erections. They include sildenafil, or Viagra, which is one of the most commonly prescribed medications for ED. Tadalafil, also known as Cialis, which can be taken daily or as needed, and Vardenafil, which is Levitra. Each of these medications has its own unique properties and duration of action. In some cases, your doctor might recommend other medical interventions. These are typically considered when oral medications are not effective or suitable. These might include injections directly into the penis, which can produce an erection within minutes. Vacuum devices that draw blood into the penis creating an erection by using a vacuum pump, or even surgery in certain situations, such as penile implants, which can provide a permanent solution for ED. Your doctor will discuss these options with you if they deem them appropriate. It's important to have an open and honest conversation about your symptoms and treatment preferences. It's important to remember that medications for ED can have side effects. These can range from mild to severe and should be discussed with your healthcare provider. It's crucial to discuss these potential side effects with your doctor. They can help you weigh the benefits and risks of each treatment option, and to take the medication exactly as prescribed. Following your doctor's instructions is key to the effectiveness and safety of the treatment. Never self-medicate or share your medication with others. Doing so can be dangerous and may lead to serious health complications. Section 7, Lifestyle Modifications, Empowering Your Health. While medical interventions can be effective, lifestyle changes also play a crucial role in managing ED. These changes can improve overall health and well-being, including sexual health. One important step is to maintain a healthy weight. Obesity is a major risk factor for ED. Regular physical activity is also essential. Exercise improves blood flow, boosts testosterone levels, and reduces stress, all of which can benefit erectile function. Additionally, a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can improve vascular health and overall well-being. Other lifestyle modifications that can help include quitting smoking, limiting alcohol consumption, and getting enough sleep. These changes not only benefit erectile function but also contribute to a healthier and happier life. Section 8. Debunking Myths – Separating Fact from Fiction Many myths and misconceptions surround ED. It's important to separate fact from fiction. One common myth is that ED only affects older men. While age is a risk factor, ED can occur at any age. It's not an inevitable part of aging. Another myth is that ED is all in your head. While psychological factors can contribute, ED often has an underlying physical cause. It's essential to consult a doctor to determine the root of the problem. 
Don't dismiss it as being solely psychological. Some believe that once you experience ED, you'll always have it. This is not true. ED can be temporary, and even chronic ED can often be successfully managed with treatment and lifestyle changes. Don't let myths prevent you from seeking help. Section 9. Reclaiming Intimacy – A Hopeful Outlook Erectile dysfunction can be a challenging condition, but it's important to remember that you're not alone, and effective help is available. By understanding the causes, seeking professional guidance, and embracing a holistic approach to treatment, you can reclaim your intimacy and enjoy a fulfilling sex life. Open communication with your partner, healthcare provider, and support system is crucial throughout this journey. Remember, ED is often treatable. By addressing it proactively and seeking appropriate care, you can overcome the challenges it presents and rediscover the joy of intimacy.